Hey guys, just a guy here. Another episode of Sky Factory 4. We're starting off next to the moth farm. It's working as you can see. I just uh, use some idle bundled cable pipes, sort of extend it. Just use hoppers for now. Some overflow chest to my item collector. I expanded it a little bit to be six blocks wide instead of three, just to get a little better because I think I was losing a lot of spawns. So there's a total of six fans internally now and that lets me uh get the group spawning or something because it seems to be much better it used to be like one spawn per every couple minutes and now i get groups of spawns so remember like i waited like 10 minutes to get one gunpowder but now i got a bunch of gunpowder got a bunch of bones and then what's the other thing i might need ender pearls maybe some things use ender pearls but yeah that works it's not great but it works uh the big drawback is the punji sticks are pretty slow to kill things so that stops it. If I had done a drop kill, it might have been better. But as you can see, space is becoming an issue. Um, I put an item extraction cable, which is just... You know, iron nuggets, a wetty pressure plate, which is just iron things. A dropper, you know, vanilla dropper and stuff. And it sucks out stuff as it pours in, and it was putting in here just so I could go through a little faster. And then I made a redstone clock, which I can't click from just pushing right on. Oh, there we go. Um, it's just you know redstone and a repeater, and it lets you set things like I'd seen before. I have it in five duration every thirty seconds, and it was pouring out the iron blocks to make it a little easier on myself. Unfortunately, I put iron amber. Or redstone amber in here and it put in made to stabilize redstone I thought I could pour it out but apparently um, red the stabilized redstone has no block in this mod pack uh, you can't pour it out go to uses you can put it in a bucket to make a uh, purple slime you can use it as an alloy and you can use it as like a casting thing for the infuser and all that. But that's it. You can't make an actual redstone block out of it. So this is sort of pointless. I had no idea about that. Huh. I can't get it out of there with a clay bucket at least. But I do have enough iron now to hopefully do my next project. Which is... That's what I've been using this thing here over here for. Uh, the save things I want to make. So I want to try to make a fluid collector. Um, this thing says it picks up fluid below and replaces the blocks. And I really need to expand because I'm running out of space seriously. And I love how this amber stuff looks, by the way. It looks like a really cool red glass. But, yeah, so I'm going to need some clay. We have to make some terracotta. I think it was three, but we'll just do that. So we just cook this to make terracotta. Dump some more junk back in here. But other than that, it's pretty simple. Huh, universal bin. That's very complicated considering there's also a trash void thing. What? Huh. Oh, it was over here. Okay. Fluid collector. Pistons. So, yeah. Let's make some of those. Fluid collector. See, yeah, unfortunately, I can't get that thing on the side. But, so we need some pistons. Two. Dropper. And then we just need that. Our one block of iron we have in there somewhere. Okay. Yes, we only need three, but whatever. We got our fluid collector. Now, it needs to be powered. From what I read on the cyclic wiki page or whatever, you can't supposedly power it with coal, but I guess they removed that, and now you need RF to power it. So, my goal is to try to 
expand downwards and have an elevator or something. But to uh, power it, I was looking through all the generators I can build. And this simple generator seems to be a combustion generator works best. It burns on coal or wood or leaves or anything that burns. And it doesn't take much more than a furnace and some stone and iron. So let's start with a furnace. Oops. Do I not have... I have enough cobblestone in there for a furnace. Uh, simple combustion. There's an advanced version. You can do upgrades, but I don't have gold. And I don't really know how the upgrades work either, so... Simple combustion, actually. We're probably going to need two of these. Oh, well. We'll make one. We don't know how fast this thing is anyway. So, we need power pipes. Now, you can also use... I don't know what the difference is. Um, you got these leadstone flux ducts, which do 1,000 RF per tick. Um, but they take lead. We don't have that just yet. And then there's another energy pipe. From a cycle, like I thought. That cycle. Pipe. Yeah, so it also has energy cables. But I don't know what how much these transfer either, but they take redstone and bricks, which Yeah, so it it works with stuff, and it, I would like to use this because it's easy, but I'm just going to use bundles because it's much easier. And I already got some. So, we do need a redstone torch just to be able to cancel things. I don't know why I'm using that. It's a very simple recipe. Laziness of modded Minecraft, I guess. Um, let's get rid, of that. get rid of those. Okay, so we put our combustion generator down. We hmm, probably don't want to put it right there. Guess we gotta have space. Cause we need to have the fluid come out the top, as far as I know. Let's put it there, and then we'll take our pipe. Power it from the side, and we completely and utterly missed <laughs> our placement. I don't know why I'm moving this instead of the other thing, but whatever. Now this should work there. Oops. Actually, I could do both if I really wanted to. So do you have the bundle pipes? So it powers and does fluid at the same time. So. We just need to put some burnable fuel in there. Now, we could just use wood or something cheap, but I got charcoal, why not? And I could have that auto fuel. And I think all we do is got to put some blocks in there for it to replace. Okay, it's kicking in. Where am I getting water? Oh, is it counting the way waterway over here? I don't know. And it won't do anything else until I get water out of there. I don't know what kind of area it is. I thought it was downwards and like a nine by nine or something. Okay, so let's uh look at fluid tanks. So these aren't too hard to make but they don't hold very much there's something called a drum that was an advancement of storage 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 there we go takes a barrel and iron plates oh yeah i remember looking this up the forging hammer is really easy so yeah forging hammer we're gonna make one of these just some wood a slab and a stone that is so easy Okay, so let's work with this somehow. 
Uh, where do we want to put this? This is why I need to expand. Let's try it here. Okay. Move this. And then we need... Let's get a hopper. We'll make a wooden one, just save metal. Doesn't have to be fast. And we need a chest. Actually, we need another hopper one input too. Not that we need a super amount just yet. Okay, so our forging thing. Hopefully that pulls the things out of there, and then we'll worry about the input later. Alright, let's just take some of these, I guess. That was to all of them. Well, that's more in a sec. So much resin, though. So it does work, takes no power or anything. That's cool. Oh, and it moves. That's awesome. We got one forging plate. So while that's working, let's look at the rest of the drum recipe. Um, drum. So a barrel, plates, weighted pressure plates, two of them. We might need more than one barrel. So that's just a cauldron. Well, we can do that. Okay, just like that. That's a boat. There we go. How many did I make? Yeah, three. Okay, we got oh, wooden pressure plates. We need two each. Oops. Almost got our barrel. Finally. Okay. Hey, that's a an advancement. How many have we got left, by the way? So we need to make a bed still, but that's not an issue. A, uh, a metal bucket and then the hog thing, but that's such a bad resource method in this mod pack. You get like one truffle every five minutes or something. Okay, so. Drums. We just need our plates. And we got exactly six. It's enough for one barrel, but it's good enough for now. And we got another advancement. Let's get rid of these. So these, the only difference between these and the wooden barrels is they can hold hot liquids. Um, I guess right there. Oh, I need a fluid. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't just extract automatically. Fluid extraction pipe. Hopefully that's not too expensive. I know it does take iron nuggets. Gold nuggets. Oh, that's... That's a problem. What do I have that can take fluid out of something? Anything? No? That sucks. I don't have a fluid hopper or anything like that. Well, I guess we're going to look at gold. I know it's just saplings. Pour gold over this. An oak sapling, yes. But how do you get molten gold? Gold amber, I'm sure. Actually, let's just type that in. And this is... Yellow dye, sand resin, iron resin, lead resin. Okay, so that's a big rabbit hole. Well, now. Can't get it out. Well, guys, I'm going to cut here for a bit and try to figure out how to get some gold easily or get the fluid out of there. All right, guys, I got some stuff together. We're just going to have to make a gold sapling. Um, Got some... Yellow dye off of a dandelion, off of the bone meal in the grass we did previously. Obviously you get yellow and red dyes pretty much no matter where you are. 
Uh, so if we go to Lead Amber, we have to do the little steppy pass. It's just some blue dye or a lapis, which we have lapis coming out of our ears right now. So we're not too worried. So we'll make, I guess one of those, just one. And we need an oak sapling. Let it go. I gotta keep some extra saplings in here. Yeah, got an oak. We can make this. Oh, we gotta get rid of this stuff somehow. So I can't get it out there. I can't pour it. And the buckets weren't seeming to work either. Okay, so. Lit amber, way too much for my purposes, but whatever. Okay. And where is it? My tree. Oh, is it in here? I can't remember. No? So take more than uses. Where's the casting table? Molten lead uses. Here we go. Hmm, it's probably be easier off of the tree. Huh. I thought I said oak sapling for the lead sapling. Molten. Let's go lead sapling. Oh, I messed this up so bad. Oh, dark oak. Okay, well, I got one of those too. Just one, it seems, though. But I'm not too worried. I've got a market if I need it, and it's kind of easy. Okay, so there we go. And then the gold sapling. Is that the one that takes an oak tree? Regular oak, yeah. So I'm going to have to go through a couple cycles of this thing, guys, and uh, be right back. Alright, guys, we're going to have lead resin to at least make the gold and possibly the silver if we really want to. So, gold amber. I don't want gold. Let's just look at the silver. I think it's just two leads and some other petrified. Not sure what silver is used for yet, but it's part of the advancements. Oh, I need light gray dye. Okay, so we'll, we'll do that later. But let's melt our gold. Get our oak tree again. And I also a, um, made some iron buckets just to get the advancement and to not have to worry about melting my pots as I move things. But let's put this in here. And we'll have gold. Oh, while we're waiting, I also found some neat things. Uh, there's a recipe called Snad, which is just two sand on top of each other. You go to uses or recipes. How does it say here? But if you go, it was part of the advancements, I think. Right here, yeah. Place snad to grow sugar cane seeds at top of an accelerated rate. There's also a water sprinkler somewhere. Right here. That makes things grow faster. So that's why everything seemed to grow so slow, is um, they expected you to use these advancements to, or these 
mechanisms to grow things faster. So by default, things are growing super slow. But I don't know how much faster these grow, but supposedly faster. I think they also disabled the limits on Sugar King because they had Sugar King growing more than three high, so I don't know. We'll see how it grows, but I just thought that was kind of cool. Then we can... Oh, I still have some lead in there. Okay. Well, let's pour the lead into here for now. Get rid of it. Luckily, it's preheated. The gold still. Let's get our other oak sapling just to speed this up a little bit because I am going to need, what, four gold nuggets? And unfortunately, I don't have a cast yet, but I will be able to get cast with this. That's the other good thing about gold because the clay cast don't work for reinforcements and they also don't work um, as a, you know, as a blank cast. They also destroy after one use for all the tools. But yeah, guys, I'm going to grind out some gold and be right back to hopefully finish our base expansion. This works. All right, guys, I'm back. And I got to be honest, um, I failed at the record button or something for the final clip, so I have to redo it. So some things might look different because I've also pushed on to the, like, the sixth episode already. But here we go. So we got gold. Uh, it takes a lot of gold. It takes like, uh, I think it's five amber maybe six to make one gold block out of the melter so be prepared for that but if we go to the fluid extraction we got our gold nuggets now we need the pressure plates go through so many of those and droppers if I had the storage space I would just make a bunch of them a bunch of droppers and stuff but Right now, I don't have it. So, that'll go in there. It does need power. It's not coming through because that's just an extraction pipe. Hmm. Let's move this down. So, I don't want to go make more cables right now. Actually, let's just do this right here. There we go. That should work. Oh well, yeah, I need to put blocks in there. Um, the terracotta it doesn't really matter what block, because unfortunately, future me knows this doesn't work. As you can see, um, it does constantly pull out liquids quite fast, quite a lot. Um, but as much as I give it power, it takes about three of these to run this constantly without power problems. These simple combustion engines. Uh, let's actually get some from here. I thought would be neat because it'd burn up as the lava replaced it, so I wouldn't have to destroy it later. But no, as you can see, nothing's going away. So it takes out the lava and the, I guess, the water from over here, but it does not put the blocks in or destroy the sources. So. For my base expansion ideas, it's kind of a failure. But what I can also do is um, upgrades. I can do the wood upgrade easily. I'm not going to bother with the tin or the gold and diamond one just yet. More pressure plates. Eight, I think, was it? Oh, no, I don't have enough planks. Uh, let's get some of these. There we go. So we can just upgrade this multiple times if we want to. And it's up to 512,000 for that one thing. And then what we can also do is void, upgrade. Uh, just take some chests and obsidian and fancy item frame, which is just gold nuggets around some obsidian. And this will prevent it from being over full, which honestly isn't something I'm too worried about. Because then the 
thing will just stop but it's a it's an advancement so put that on there and now you can see the little void sign down there and it says so in the upgrades the other cool thing you can do is keys um, crate key is the one from the same thing barrels drums and storage just three pieces of iron and a crate or a barrel take your pick and this lets you right click on it to lock it so those items can't be changed it'll always be that so even if that gets emptied it won't put something else in but yeah as you can see this does work 149 151 yeah it goes through pulses of working because of my particular uh, thing oh you saw the little things over there yeah we'll lock that one too but yeah so unfortunately this does not work for my base expansion for more fortunately though it does give us endless limitless resources which i'll expand in the next episode which is kind of sad though i mean i really wanted a, a good easy way to get rid of all this lava i'm just gonna have to either turn it into obsidian and destroy it that way which would be tedious or millions and millions of iron buckets but yeah guys sorry about the i'm not sure how much it's joys with the previous clips but i had to record this again and it's kind of weird but now i got two fluid collectors because the other one's already used for what i did in the next episode but yeah guys catch you later bye